Take it no more. Green Party supporters led a protest against the Commission on Presidential Debate some distance from the auditorium. We live in a country, get at me, that is so prehistoric where we only have two major political parties when it doesn't represent the masses of the people in this country. A group of protesters have now entered the campus. They say they're going to risk arrest until someone from the Presidential Debates Commission explains to them why Jill Stein isn't in the debate. Stein received over 100,000 signatures to get on the ballot in 45 states and has beaten Donald Trump in at least one poll among those under 34. Some 75 million people in the U.S. are in that age group. Yet she didn't meet the criteria set by the Commission on Presidential Debates, a private corporation set up by the Republicans and Democrats. The Commission insists not just on widespread inclusion on the ballot, but on reaching a 15% threshold in five polls of its own choosing. Stein supporters say that's not fair. Unless she receives the exposure from the debate, her message of economic redistribution, urgent action on climate change and investment in jobs and education will not reach 15% support across all age groups. One of her supporters attempted to explain her case as the arrests began. They, were, they, came, they asked me to be interviewed. They literally we're interviewing him. Right? He wasn't the only one to be detained. Why are you arresting this woman right now? Because I'm asking for freedom. I'm asking for change. The week before, in Washington, D.C., there were no arrests, but supporters of the other main so-called third-party candidate, Gary Johnson of the Libertarian Party, were making the same arguments as they protested outside the offices of the debate commission. He's on the ballot in all the U.S. states and is also polling well among the young. His platform is a mixture of social liberalism and strict fiscal conservatism. A lot of polls are really only polling Democrats and Republicans, and they're not speaking to independents, which are half the American public. I am an independent, and I'm here supporting Gary Johnson. Um, we also see that some of these polls didn't poll anyone under 35 years old. What do we want? What do we want? A recent USA Today poll found that 76% wanted four candidates included in the debates. Never have the two main presidential candidates had such high unfavorability ratings. Those identifying as independent are the largest and fastest growing voter bloc in the U.S. You are subject to arrest. But for now, the presidential debates remain closed to all but the Republicans and Democrats. Shia Al Jazeera, Hempstead, New York.